Ooh, I think the only level I had any real trouble with, surprisingly. Oh, this is a fantastic piece of trivia for you. When you use a ladder, touch the ladder. If you just walk into the pit, you will fall and die. Go figure, huh? I, I think this game might actually trump Contra in terms of the creators loving to see the player suffer horribly. This is the only weak troll I think you'll ever encounter, and weak is a very relative term when you're dealing with trolls. Trolls will dodge a 10-strike combo from you. All of it. And I think that might happen at the end of the game. Or towards the end. By this point, you don't have to worry about goblins. Not much, anyway. Since you saved their king by giving him water, you won't have to fight them anymore. Ah, troll bombs. These are gay as hell. They have to be used at such a precise moment that oftentimes you'll either use them when the troll is too far away, or close enough that he ignores the effect and attacks you anyway. So don't count on the troll bombs to save you, even though they should, and dying 70 or 80 times will teach you when to use them. Now here I thought you might be able to wear him down by shooting fireballs at him. I was mistaken. As you can see, he is very healthy. He's a healthy, sexually mature troll. And he is very anxious to get rid of whatever frustrations trolls have sexually and do them on you. Interspecies doesn't matter to him. And oddly, he's actually a little bit slower than I recall. But, of course, that's Again, relative. Goblins are truly slow. Every, even your basic ass-in-the-grass troll is a quicker attacker than a goblin. Ah, oh, this is wonderful. This is an example of the dungeon actually having a point. Since you've seen how good of fighters trolls are in comparison to goblins, I thought you could light that torch, by the way. I wasn't trying to be a dickhead. You can tell why this room is filled with a whole bunch of spikes. They are there to stop the trolls from coming over. Obviously, that doesn't work perfectly. Nor is it very beneficial to you, as it shoves itself up your ass if you walk on the wrong spot. So apparently they commissioned Vlad the Impaler to build this room. And he did an excellent job. You have just seconds of life left after it anally impales you to realize how humiliating your death was. Where you want to line up is with the torch up there, relatively. The vast majority of oh, another bat. The vast majority of traps like this. There are basic landmarks, not necessarily anything deliberate or specific, but some basic landmarks that you can use to try to feel your way through the room. Obviously, it's going to take time and many deaths. And after a while, the amusement of seeing your character get hosed wears thin. And if you're playing the Genesis version on the Genesis, you don't get codes and continues. No, when you die, you just get fucked. And then, that's it. You get to try again. Or you get to ask yourself, why did I buy this shit? This is highly amusing. You create a duel between those trolls, but if you wait too long, one will kill the other. Or if you get too close, they'll do that don't interfere old man and then, well, take care of business from there. There I dropped a troll bomb perfectly. How? I don't know. Here? 
Uh, here, I dropped it well, but the green flame you're supposed to step into just would not fucking appear. This flame was impotent, and therefore I had to run from a bat and a troll. And the minute that I saw the green flame, I ran for it like a bitch. And then got burned because the thing didn't last long enough. And this wonderfully left me open to this cockstain actually being able to attack me. Because troll bombs, while stunning and possibly damaging a troll, don't actually kill it. So if you die, not only do you lose the troll bomb, you lose the effect. And by this point, obviously, I had none left. So I had to fight this dickhole once again. And he is a full strength troll. The damage you take from wearing him out is well worth it. Because you will not ever, ever kill a troll in one rush. Not that I've ever seen. They're just programmed to be too evasive. They're very, very good at what they do. And that is interspecies rape. And the only time you will get a good rush on them is when they're tired out. Now here's how you do this shit. You wait for this flame, which appeared much, much more quickly here than it did previously. And then you get out of the way. That flame will still kill you. 